Summer break is over, school is back in session, and practices are underway. Yes, the 2021 high school fall sports season is finally here. Hi everybody, I'm Peter McLean. Welcome to this DAF Media Special. For the first time in two years, football returns to Southwestern Connecticut. There were no sanctioned games last year due to the pandemic. With more on the 2021 edition of the Blue Wave, here's Dylan DeRiso. Thanks, Peter. Two years ago, Darianne made it all the way to the Class L State Finals, where they lost in dramatic fashion to Newtown. Last year, the Wave didn't get a full sanctioned season and only played a few full contact games. Now, Darianne football is back and they are looking strong. With a whole mix of new and returning players, Darianne is being led by senior quarterback Miles Drake and senior defensive end David Ivanchik. We talked to all four of the captains about their excitement for the upcoming season. 2019, lost to Newtown. Luckily, we get them third week of the season, so we're really looking forward to that game among a lot of others. But yeah, we couldn't be more excited to finally get a chance to play in front of some people. It's a lot different. We're a lot younger, but it's good. You know, we've got a lot of speed, much more than we had before. Um, we're pretty strong in the D-line. Offense is looking great. I mean, our goal number one is to go 13-0 and win a state championship. And obviously, you got to beat those teams, you know, Newtown. Had our number the last couple of years, beat us in the state championship. But uh, they got to come here and they got to beat us on our field. After losing in 2019 and being on the field after the Newtown loss, I think I, my, myself, David Carson, Miles are now for sure. We're extremely excited to get after it and, um, you know, contend for a state championship. Longtime Blue Wave defensive coordinator Mike Forget begins his second season as head coach and looks to perform well in his first full season leading the Wave. The team kicks off their season on Saturday the 11th against Fairfield Ward. Peter, back to you. Thanks, Dylan. The Darien field hockey team figures to once again be one of the favorites to contend for both an FCAC and state championship. Longtime head coach Mo Minikis has a team short on experience, but long on talent. We've been working really hard. We had a really tough preseason. It was really long and hot, but we've been you know, pushing through, and we have a lot of younger girls playing with us this year, so I think our team's going to look really good, and we're really excited. Definitely really excited this season to play some of the bigger teams that we didn't get to play against last year, uh, especially since we got quarantined before we could have a really good end to our season. We've been working hard all summer. We definitely lost a couple big seniors last year, but we're really, we've been working hard individually all summer and we're hoping our younger players can step up and fill those big roles. Now let's head to the Center Oval on DHS's campus where Braden Shank has more on the girls and boys soccer teams. Thanks, Peter. Despite a heavily modified 2020 season with the amount of games being cut in half, playing the same four teams and time on the field being limited, the Blue Wave soccer teams are ready to return to action. The Blue Wave girls team is coming off an impressive 2020 campaign in which they went a perfect 9-0 in the regular season. Darian has four All-FCAC players returning from that squad. Unlike last season, the Wave had the opportunity to qualify for a state tournament and chase a first-ever state title. I think for this year we have a young team, we have lots of great team chemistry. Our players are really good at taking that first touch and getting off the ball, so I think that will be really beneficial. I think right off the bat, we were a little rusty, but once we got our groove again, it was kind of easy to see who plays well together and to kind of get back um, to where we were last year. I think we're going to be really successful. Each practice, we're challenging each other, and with the young talent, they're getting used to the varsity level, and I think that once they get used to that and once we pick up in the season, we're going to be really successful. Hopefully, we're going to make a really big run in states and in FCX. Uh, hopefully, we make it past the semifinals, which my sister lost in, in her senior year. That's kind of my goal of the season. Um, and I really want to come home with a trophy this year. Last season, Darien had the third highest scoring boys soccer team in the entire FCAC. They'll look to continue that kind of production this season. Head coach John Bradley has a young but talented and deep team. We got a lot of numbers in the junior class that are good. Some strong seniors too. Uh, midfield's going to be pretty strong and then we got a lot more attackers. So we should be scoring more goals. We're set for a good season. I mean, we got a lot of depth, like you said, a lot of great players on this team. Uh, underclassmen as well, so uh, everybody can contribute this year. We've been uh, going on runs every day, getting ready to go. Uh, we expect to win the FCAC, first one in school history. We got a lot of returning juniors, also a lot of good sophomores coming up. So, you know, we've been grinding, we're ready to go. Our first expectation, definitely, we definitely want to go in, win the Rivals Cup against New Canaan, then help head up into FCACs, maybe make it to the finals, win that, and then on to the state tournament. Both soccer teams play a normal schedule this fall, playing all FCAC opponents once. Let's go back to the studio with Peter. Thanks, Braden. The Blue Wave girls volleyball team looks to build on its past successes this year. 
That success is on display on the walls of the DHS main gym. Darien lost to conference rival Greenwich last season in the finals of the FCAC West playoff. The Wave has some talented returning players who will try to continue the program's dominance. We went pretty far last year and um, I think we have really good expectations for this year and our goal is to win a state championship. We have a great group of girls that came out this year, great turnout, and so we're really excited for this opportunity to play, especially in the FCAC and SEAC conference and tournaments that we didn't get the opportunity to play last year. It doesn't matter what grade we're in, how old we are, and a lot of returning players that we already have a lot of chemistry with. So we're excited to invite the new players in and still have a really strong bond with our team. The Blue Wave Cross Country program seems to be on solid footing with a lot to build on. The boys team was at the top of the FCAC West last season. The girls team, meanwhile, finished second in its regional pod a year ago. In the pool, the Darien YMCA is once again the home of the Darien girls swim team. The Blue Wave lost some student athletes to graduation, but there's still loads of talent on this year's roster. I'm really optimistic about this season. We have a really strong team, some great freshmen coming in. Our senior class is looking pretty good. I know the other girls have been training hard in this offseason. We are a big team rooted in tradition, and I think we have a lot of girls who have started swimming year-round for us, so it would be really helpful to have them on the team this year. And we're a really deep team, so we're hoping that we can hold our own at championship season. Especially now that we're going to hopefully be allowed to have spectators at our meets, we're super excited for um, the positive energy that's going to be able to be on the pool deck this year. And for the first time in program history, the Darien boys golf team will tee it up in the fall. Coming off a spring season that left many disappointed, the boys will look to compete for an FCAC and state title. That'll do it for this DAF Media Special. I'm Peter McLean. Thanks for watching.